Hello, um, it's another day. I'm ready to uh, teach you guys a little bit about hats. And today we're gonna do some cap work today. Um, something I don't talk about that much. Um, firstly, because uh, right now I'm not a big cap guy. There was, I'm gonna say a good eight or nine years where I wore just the caps, you know, I'm a cap guy, you know. And I wore something like this. I had one in black velvet, I had a couple in black wool, a couple in charcoal wool and charcoal herringbone wool, but this is something like a newsboy. When it's like this and pinned down, that's your newsboy style. Eight sections, a button, peak obviously, and snap down, okay? They don't have to all be snapped. Generally, the modern ones are sewn down. The difference is you get, uh, I mean, no, I mean, they're not all sewn down. Some are snapped, some are sewn. But uh, you get a clean front like this, as opposed to, you know, kind of a snap look where you can just sort of pull it back. It looks just kind of pleaty and different, you know? But um, this is a variation of a newsboy. It's what we call, people give it different names. I've heard it called a Spitfire, a Baker Boy. Um, what else do we call these? There's all sorts of slangy kind of names. Spitfire is pretty much, that's what I call it. Spitfire is a, uh, a type of, it's a model that Kangol made. Kangol caps, uh, they used to be from England. Uh, I guess they're based out of there, but uh, they used to make them in England. Later on, they changed uh, manufacturing to uh, China and then to the US. And, uh, but uh, it's a British cap, and one of their styles is the Spitfire style, which is essentially this without the sections. It has just a button, no sections. I think you've seen them. Um, they come in regular wool, they come terry cloth, they come furry, like an angora. Um, but uh, they call these three-way caps. So a regular newsboy would be this, eight sections, sometimes six, the skinnier ones are six, um, but eight, eight pedal ones do come skinny, medium, and wide width, okay? Um, has a button, the eight sections like a pizza pie, Okay, what's the difference between that newsboy and a flat cap? Okay, the flat cap is usually skinnier on the sides. It's not as baggy, you know, like on the sides. There's no overhang over here. Okay, so uh, with a newsboy, you've got a lot of width and bagginess. With an ivy, it's pretty skinny. I mean, this is not even a skinny ivy cap, but, you know, it doesn't have as much on the sides, okay? So in general, I'm going to say the ivy cap is a little bit more sort of modern, clean cut, although it's just as classical. Um, it, it can have a slightly more modern look. I think the association is the Kangol cap, which became a very sporty look, you know, kind of a sporty, a little bit hip hop, a little bit just kind of, you know, sports t-shirts, polo shirts, t-shirts, and sweatshirts, hoodies, that kind of stuff. Uh, champion wear, you know, in the 80s and 90s. The whole sporty look um, kind of jives with that. So this has a, um, I'm gonna say if you're like what I call a polo shirt guy, which is like a very meat and potatoes kind of thing, you don't want to look uh, you know, funky, you don't want to look vintage or any of that stuff. You want to just look neat and, you know, nice, homeless guy, good guy to take uh, home to mom and dad kind of guy. Ivy cap is like that. It's um, it's neat, it's clean cut. It, it doesn't have a lot of bagginess, jauntiness. Uh, it's not campy, um, but there are a lot of variations. The super wide ones tend to look very vintagey. They have a kind of a uh, an old time vintage look, okay? The skinnier ones tend to look a little bit more now, a little with it, and kind of just very neat, modern, clean looking. Um, I don't know, it keeps ringing my phone, that's hot. Okay, they stopped. All right, so, um, yeah, so this is a little bit more, less, I'm gonna say it's less nostalgic, okay? That's a good one. Less nostalgic, it's just a nice, neat thing. This generally has a little bit of that nostalgic look. Uh, you know, the truck driver, the, uh, 
you know what I'm talking about. The old guy with the, the suspenders from the 1800s, you know, 19th century looking dude. White shirt, suspenders, wearing this kind of stuff, you know. The, um, it's a little more nostalgic, and there's more going on here. You know, you've got some stuff to gloss over, you should be able to shape it, you know, and stuff. But this one is very simple, okay? Here's the other thing, okay? There's less going on. This is narrower. It's, in general, a skinnier faced cap, this one, where this, in general, is gonna be, if you're a wider faced guy, this might look better on you. Um, it doesn't mean that all wide faced guys have to wear these and all skinny faced guys gotta wear these. Not so. Um, they make narrower ones of these that are not super wide, you know, things that are medium, um, you know, girth, bagginess, and uh, very, very narrow ones. Um, like the Stetson line, the, the Hatteras model is one of the most popular newsboys in the world. It's a nice, neat, almost something like this, kind of a modern looking newsboy that almost anybody could wear. And it's got the newsboy look, but it's not costume-like. Um, it doesn't look like, you know, you're trying to look like a, a baggy, you know, very, very baggy kind of costume-like thing. Other people want to lay it on a little thicker and they want the bagginess on the sides. They go for something a little extra wide, like our JJ Newsboy or our Gatsby from Hannah Hats, which is be a little thicker, heavier wool, wider newsboys, a little bit more girth than this, more authentic. This one doesn't have too much hanging off the sides, you know. Um, so yeah, the Gatsby, the Tully, if you like an extra heavy, really thick Irish tweed one, um, big, heavy, bulky ones. Um, then there's something called, um, what they call the Applejack. Applejack's another name for a newsboy. There's something called a Big Apple, which is the big version of the Applejack, which is super wide. You know, that's like the really wide ones. And they're difficult to find. We don't even put those on our website. You have to call if you want a Big Apple. Um, very wide, not for everybody, you know. It's not gonna look good on everybody. You're gonna wanna wear it, but it's like, yeah, you know, you just go with the JJ Newsboy and that's extra wide enough. But these are like really over the top. You know, big bills and stuff. You have to be either a big stocky guy or you have to be okay with it being over the top. When your whole family's like, are you sure, honey? Are you sure? Oh yeah, that's what I want. Yeah, yeah, that's what I want. The guy's like the only one who likes it. You know, it's huge, big, you know. So, I've seen that a whole bunch of times. The wives, the whole crowd, they're like, nah, it's too big, it's too wide. But the one guy's like, nah, this is what I've been looking for. It's like the, the Donny Hathaway model. Um, I don't know who else to say, you know, just a big, big apple. Um, hmm, oversized and exaggerated. Sort of a, you know, I don't know, Fat Albert kind of uh, funky stuff, you know? Where most people are not going to take such a newsboy, you know, they're going to take a little or medium kind of girth one, nothing too wide, you know, so let's see how this one fits me. Now I got my ponytail not up high, that's fine. Now see this. A nice newsboy. You got a little hang on the side, but very little. So you got that kind of bulldog cheeks on the side. You know that. You know what I'm talking about, right? Right here. The big apple is like, you know, it's like way out here. And then the crown is like, you know, if you have like big, long, like down to your knees dreadlocks, you could fit those in. It's a huge crown, big brim. You know, the peak is like out here and stuff. So we don't even put those in the catalog. Um, but there are bigger ones and there are smaller ones. Some of the Alfonso's are really small. Stetson makes a few really small. So, you know, those are kind of like a con contradiction, like a small, narrow newsboy, one that's skinny on the sides. They do make them, you know, we custom order some. They make all sorts of ones and they make medium, wider ones like the Gatsby, the Tully, the JJ Newsboy, if you want a little lighter, less expensive one. JJ Linen, if you want it in linen too. Um, the Stetson, if you want it less wide. The Stetson Hatteras, you know. Um, the Alfonso stuff, again, less wide, modern, kind of like this. 
This is, I'm gonna say modern to medium, you know, but it's not like a JJ Newsboy, it's a little wider, you know. Big Apple, very wider, okay. The Apple, the Newsboy, the Apple, eight piece cap, Gatsby, that's one type of cap. The flat cap or the ivy cap, as we call it in the uh, in the business. My ponytail mount is like way up high, so it's hard for me to put it on. Okay, I'm not an ivy guy. I have this, I don't know why I even have it. I think my wife wanted it or something. Maybe I liked it at the time. I guilty pleasure or something. So anyway, mm -hmm. I'm not really a ivy guy. Long hair guys, and I don't know how good they look in these, you know. But anyway, Ivy is just a standard flat cap. These are the ones some people wear backwards and everything. Um, it doesn't jive with a guy with lots and lots of hair and stuff, you know, because it kind of it sticks out the side, you know. So for me, I'm almost like a guy with, um, with a big face because I have a lot of hair. So it's the same kind of equivalent. So with my big baggy hair stuff, I like to go with a, a newsboy with a little, you know, so who can wear who? Okay, you've got a skinnier face. It's a little bit oblong and narrow on the sides. Ivy is the obvious choice. Um, a lot of it has to do with that. Yes, if you have a wider face with some you know, fat to it, um, like a Stetson Newsboy will look good. Um, an Ivy is gonna have a different image. It's gonna be very clean cut, very simple. A Newsboy will be a little bit more relaxed. As you can see, it's got a little you know, a little style happening. There's some stuff happening. You've got the pleats, you've got the thing bagging this on the sides, you got a button on top. You can shape these and kind of get them, you know, like over one eye and get it kind of cool and broken in. But um, this particular model we don't sell anymore. This is like a, I don't know, 15, 20 year old hat or something. But um, if you're gonna decide what cap you want, um, most of it has to do with style. I'm going to say the newsboys have a little bit more going on, a little bit of nostalgia to it, just a bit. They come in super lightweight linens too, they're not all heavy. Um, but if you have a little bit bigger face, they can sometimes even that out and kind of make you look skinnier. Where if you have a bigger face and you try to put an ivy on, it doesn't always look good. It's good for most people, the ivy cap. I'm going to say most of it has to do with your personality. If you're a pretty, you know, regular guy, you know, you're not funky or punk or, um, or hip hop or vintage or, you know, old timey or modern or this or that, or you're just, just a guy, you know, you, sometimes you want a kind of a, I don't know, a neat, a plain, a clean cut kind of a acceptable, what, what's the word, accessible look, okay? where going newsboy can look a little bit too bohemian for you. Like, eh, that's a little too much jazziness for me, you know? Most of it is in the personality. So you're gonna know, you know, if you're a little bit more, you know, a little walk in the wild side. Um, a lot of it has to do with your face. If you're very skinny and very small, yeah, okay, you're gonna probably think Ivy, but let's say you're into that, but you got a little style and you want some little nostalgia, you want a little, you know, they make small newsboys for you guys, you know. So it's all equivalent. Uh, the ivy caps come narrower, wider, slim. If you see the word slim, it's a real slim ivy, generally short too. Um, the snap driver is a heavyweight one. Um, the county ivy is kind of a sort of classic cap. There's a lot of new things out by Stetson now, interesting materials, alpacas and stuff. Um, but if you're an Ivy guy, I think a lot of it is personality. You just want it plain, clean, like a polo shirt, and you know, and that's it. Um, I'm gonna say this has uh, got a little bit of that old 57 Chevy, but there are modern ver versions of a Newsboy that'll just give you the button, the bagginess, and um, you know, and they give you a little style, where sometimes the style in itself is in just the neat, and the clean cleanliness of the line, that's what an ivy cap is. It's clean, it's simple, dressy. You know, I think for a lot of gals, it's cute because it's small looking. Um, so think of it that, that way. It's shallow and it's um, not as deep. This has got the big baggy crowns, a lot of room in there. 
Okay, so it's shallower. It's cool to wear backwards sometimes. It's skinny and plain. You know, it's almost like the front of a baseball cap. It's very simple. It's just like a wedge. That's like the British cap, the walking cap. You know, dad's walking cap. This is a very common shape, you know? British guy, Irish guy, taking a walk in the countryside kind of thing. That's it. A little tweed vest kind of, you know? Little round glasses. All right, now um, this is, the newsboy is a little more than that. It has a jauntiness. Um, what you want to do with a newsboy is you want to give it some shape. You know, an Applejack can be funky. Um, you know, look at pictures of Stevie Wonder wearing her. He knew how to wear the cap. Um, he just, you know, broke it in. He just knew exactly what he was doing. It was pretty cool considering you couldn't even see it, you know. But, you know, you break it in, you get a cool style, and you pull it over one eye, and you get a kind of a little jaunty thing going, you know. But, um, it's, there's more going on there and stuff. So, I'm going to say you probably know which one you want. Um, and the best way, obviously, is to go to a hat shop and try them both. Usually, a person will gravitate towards one or the other very strongly. There's not that many people who are both. Um, generally, a guy who wears one doesn't like the other and doesn't look good in the other. He feels awkward in it. Um, and you have to carry both, you know. So, if you can, go to JJ Hat Center, try them both. That's always the best. Try some Ivies, try some Newsboys. But, um, you know, try to figure out from some of the things I've said, um, if you're an Ivy guy or an eight-quarter Newsboy, Applejack, uh, Gatsby guy, you know. You're just a regular sort of a polo shirt, meat and potatoes, very clean, Irish, English, tweed cap, walking in the countryside, dad's walking cap kind of thing, or you, uh, you know, MGB with the, uh, with the top rolled down and, uh, you know, the round glasses, I don't know, what kind of, that's a bad analogy, wasn't it? I guess it wasn't bad, but, uh, Newsboy, yeah, it's got a little bit of, uh, it's jaunty. It's uh, rakish. It's got a little bit of rakishness. And it will also help if you've got a little bit more width to the old face. If you're getting, you know, starting to pack it on in your, uh, your years, you know, living large, living comfortably, um, this will make the face look a little bit uh, skinnier. Where uh, a very skinny ivy cap on the sides will make your wider face appear like you know, the little cap just can't cover it up, you know. So, you know, get something baggy. Doesn't have to be crazy baggy, but just go with a, a deeper cap, too. These are deeper. You get infinitely more depth in this crown, uh, where an ivy cap is not that deep. Although they, they differ. They're not all the same. Some of the slimmer caps can be extremely shallow, which is why you'll see a lot of the JJ Slims have a sort of a rainbow pattern in the back. The way, you see the way this is done with uh, seams there? Okay, that's a typical way for the seams to be on an ivy cap, you know, typical pattern. There's a uh, particular slim cap that we do. It's very slim on the sides and shorter in the front, so it's really compact. And to get around it being too shallow and not, you know, being deep enough, they have a way of sewing the panels together in a kind of an arc way which gives the back a rounded feel and it gives it more of a natural, uh, just sort of covers your head a little deeper. So it's a really good way to build a cap. And uh, if you're wondering why some of our slims are built that way with those particular panels in the back, that's why for depth and stuff. So um, if you're a, a slim Ivy guy, a regular Ivy guy, uh, a newsboy guy, a slim newsboy, a wide newsboy guy, a Greek fisherman guy, Greek fishermen's are very narrow, just, you know, treat it like a, uh, an ivy cap. So it's super narrow, that kind of captain shape. Um, it's like a yacht cap, a captain's cap, or a Greek fisherman. They're very, very narrow shapes. So if you're a gal and you're looking for, let's say, a nice cap for yourself, or just a guy, you want something cool, you know, to walk around the city or something, 
consider one of those. We sell them, um, it's called the Greek Fisherman. We get the original ones from a company called Aegean, um, which I used to sell at my dad's store um, years ago. So I'm at JJ's for 25 years. Before that, I worked full time at my dad's shop for nine years. He sold Aegean Greek Fisherman caps because we were in a Greek neighborhood in uh, Astoria, Queens. So uh, we sold a lot. But anyway, they're great caps. Um, that's a skinny cap with a, it's kind of a leather sweatband inside, but I think it's pleather actually. Um, it's got a satin lining, but they're real sort of captain shape. They come in solid uh, wool colors, like black wool, navy, brown, uh, gray. And then they come also in cotton. So there's a navy cotton, a black cotton, um, a denim, like a light blue, beige tan like a british tan color and white they're really nice uh the cotton greek fishermen's for summer very nice uh, just a cool hat for a guy or a girl the wool ones you know obviously are for three seasons and then for the summer maybe summer and spring you could wear the uh, the cotton one but anyway um are you an ivy guy are you a uh, skinny cap dude or are you a baggy newsboy dude, gal, guy, chick dude? So, um, gotta figure that out for yourself. And, um, like I said, it's not only skinny versus fat face. Yes, narrower faces will generally look better in IVs, and wider faces will get the depth they need and the width they need with a newsboy, but. A lot of it's your style. So if you're a real kind of a plain, you know, not a rakish guy and you think you just want to keep it real simple, this is a simple style. Um, it can be nice, but it can be too skinny for some faces and it won't provide the depth you need. So um, don't be scared of newsboys. They're really, you know, once you got them on, they kind of look the same. The only big difference is one has a button, but the button's way up there, so you don't always see it. Um, they're always, they, they're really similar. You know, if you take the same pattern, an ivy one and a, um, I mean, the same, uh, you know, plaid or something on both, you put it on two people, one will just look like a wider version of the other, you know? You get real close to it, you can see, oh yeah, it's got paddles, it's got a, you know, but uh, they're very similar when you get down to it. So, yeah, don't be scared of it, and um, figure out which guy or gal you are. That's it, I'm going to play you guys out. Mm-hmm.